the first thing we'll do is log in to our OpenShift 4 UI as the cube admin. This is the administrative user. And we'll just verify the version of OpenShift that we're running is in fact 4.4. Here you can see 4.4.6, stable 4.4. We've already gone ahead and installed the Portworx Enterprise Operator for this demo. There is one storage cluster configured running 251 and it's online and ready to go. So Portworx volumes can be used for applications. In the MySQL dev project, we have a MySQL database already configured and deployed to use Portworx. Here we can see that the PVC MySQL data for the Mount Path Bar Live MySQL has a PVC MySQL data and a persistent volume using MySQL storage class, which is in fact using the Portworx volume provisioner. Head over to PX Central, which is our PX backup UI. The OpenShift cluster has already been added. I'll show and link a video of how to set up PX backup and add a cluster, but that's not part of this demo. So let's go ahead over to MySQL dev, the project we were just looking at, and we should see our MySQL database and PVC here as we do. Go ahead and click backup, and this backups everything in this project. The first thing we need to do is give it a name. It could be really anything and a backup location. I've already configured those. You can optionally give it a schedule or just backup once right now, which is what we're doing. You can add a pre or post rule if you have specific logic or something that needs to be verified before and after the backup and add a label if you wish. Then click create. This will start the backup of the MySQL dev namespace and everything in it. The operation will go from pending to in progress, then to a failure or success. If we look at the details of this backup, we can see that it's first backing up the volumes, the origin cluster of where the backup came from, the backup name, and exactly what resources are in it. So right now we just see one volume, which is our PVC. But if we go, do a refresh after it's completed, we should see the resources such as the versus of volume claim and deployment that are also part of this namespace. Now, simply to restore to your OpenShift environment, go ahead and give your restore a name and select your OpenShift cluster from the destination dropdown. You can give a custom restore, meaning you can customize where and what namespace it goes to. In this case, Default is the same namespace and replace, meaning I know that my old MySQL database is running, so I want to make sure and replace that with the restore. So now we can see that this application is running, and as soon as it's done doing the restore, you can see it's terminating. And back up in the PX backup UI, we can see that it's in progress. The details show us that it's working on the PVC first, meaning restoring all the data that was part of that volume. And then it'll move on to the application, which now you can see container creating and we're back up and running now. So that's a backup and restore of a database for OpenShift 4 of the entire MySQL dev project. And these are every all the resources that are within that backup and restore. Note that PX Backup can also be used for stateless components, meaning applications that don't have volumes. Here in our default namespace, we have a couple of these, Nginx and Apache. So if I want to back up Nginx, I can select the label associated with Nginx, then click Backup. So this is how you fine tune what exactly you want to back up by labels. Give it a name and the location, as well as an optional schedule and rules, as well as a label and click create just like before. In this case, it's stateless. So what we should see in the details are the information associated only with this application, such as the label and what resources are backed up. And if we look at the details, we see that a service and deployment is associated with this backup. Hopefully that's been a brief overview of 
how PX Backup can work with your OpenShift 4 environment. Until next time, take care.